Now, let's dive into the device setup. To begin, you need to download Smart Panics from either the App Store or the Google Play Store. It's a straightforward process. Just search for Smart Panics and tap the Install button. During the installation, the app will request permission to access specific functions on your device. Specifically, it needs access to the GPS for precise user location during emergencies, the microphone and camera to attach multimedia evidence, and the contacts list for adding new members to your group and selecting emergency contacts to receive SMS notifications in case the panic button is pressed. It's essential to remember that the standard Smart Panics app doesn't come pre-branded with your organization's logo. To make it fully functional, you'll need to link it to your server, establishing a connection with your SoftGuard platform. Let's move on to the various device registration methods. There are four distinct ways to register a device. Manual registration. In this method, users download the app, provide IP port, name and phone number, and await approval from the monitoring center. Following approval, the app is activated and configured from the Smart Panics module. Early registration, this method reverses the order. First, you create a new user early from the Smart Panics module, setting up the necessary parameters. Then, the user utilizes the same name and phone number for instant access to the app. Landing page, the landing page registration is a user-friendly web form that significantly speeds up the device activation process. Adding users to my group, a QR code can be shared with users to add more members to a specific group. Let's delve deeper into these methods and see how they work. App activation requires users to connect to your server. This can be achieved by either manually entering the IP and port details or scanning a QR code. To obtain these details, navigate to the Smart Panics module and access the service configuration. There you'll find your IP address and port, as well as the QR code to share with users. Once connected, users input their name and phone number. The app is now linked and they await activation by your monitoring center. This unactivated device will appear in the Unassigned Devices section. To complete the process, simply select the device and hit Assign Account. You can further configure the device by double-clicking on it. Early registration is the reverse of manual registration. You create a new user early, setting up the device and account in advance. The device appears in red as it awaits activation on the user's app. When the user enters the same name and phone number, they instantly access the app with predefined permissions and features. There are no wait times. It's crucial that the user enters their name and phone number exactly as you entered it during early registration, as any discrepancy may prevent the system from recognizing it. The landing page method is a simple form, offering a quick way for users to register. Once they've completed the form, They'll receive a welcome email with a link, and a new account will be automatically registered in the system. We'll delve further into the landing page later in this course. The fourth method involves group setup through the app. In this scenario, you should already have a device linked to the platform using any of the methods previously mentioned. Administrators can add more users to their group just by sharing a QR code without the need for service provider intervention. With these four methods, we've covered setting up the device. After the registration, you can double-click on a user to set up different permits and restrictions. Are you ready to continue?